Um, I want to have a, ch a talk about uh, relative greenhouse gas emissions. I understood your answer earlier to Senator Roberts as indicating Australia's percentage of world greenhouse gas emissions is at 1.3%. Is that? Am I right? Do I hear that correctly? That's yes. Okay. Saying. Now, um, and what percentages of, of world greenhouse gas emissions are China, India, Russia, and the US? Uh, Senator, I don't have those figures in front of me, but they're a good portion. F fairly substantial. Yeah. Would they be over 50? I think we have to take it on notice to get those specific figures, or perhaps somebody, if um, we can get them before the end of the session, we can provide you with that yeah, okay. um, then. But I can tell you that under the Paris Agreement, uh, we have something in the order of 85 percent of global emissions covered by the Paris Agreement, and even if you exclude the USA, mm -hmm. given that they have uh, announced their withdrawal, um, the, the agreement still covers 72 percent of global emissions. But I don't have that broken down by country, so okay. if we can get that, we will. Um, <laughs> so can we just think about China for a moment? What was the most... Uh, has the most recently reported annual change in emissions by China been a rise or a fall? <coughs> so again, we'll have to take that on notice. Uh, do you, do you have that information for any country at the moment? Not with us. I think on the, at the table we hadn't anticipated answering by country, um, okay. but it is available, and so we would just need to bring it together for yeah. you. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, pres presumably you would agree that in, in ag overall, China, India, Russia, uh, you know, US, Brazil, um, South Korea and Indonesia all emit more emissions than Australia does. Um, I, I'll hazard it, that's probably correct. Um, <coughs> Australia is one of the smaller groups, but uh, there are you know, some 170 odd countries that are of a similar size to Australia in terms of their emissions. And when you put them together, mm -hmm. that group of countries represents in the order of 40% of global emissions. Yeah. So it's a significant group. Yeah. But of all the countries that emit more than Australia, and bearing in mind there must be quite a lot, if uh, Australia's contribution is 1.3 per cent. Can you tell me how many are increasing their annual emissions and how many are reducing them? Uh, not uh, here at the table. I'm afraid, again, we didn't come armed with that information, but it is available and so we can provide it on notice. All right. So, uh, Ms Evans, I've, I heard you refer to the Paris Accord earlier on. Um, uh, so of all the commitments of signatories to the Paris Accord, how many are commitments involving a reduction in overall emissions between the reference year and the target year? Uh, so again, we'll take on it on notice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, okay. So you un you knew how much Australia's contribution to was. Do you know how much? By how much greenhouse gas emissions worldwide are increasing at the moment? <coughs> Uh, Senator, look, I'm, I am sorry, we, should have, we haven't come prepared for this particular no. line of questioning. All, all of the, the kinds of things you're asking are available and through available, the reports yeah. to the N okay. UNFCCC, but we haven't come um, with it um, to hand. What's that? Is someone listening, one of your staff available here to track down the information for you? Yeah, I think, um, we're, I think we've got someone onto it, Senator. Okay. So the, the, the next, the, the final aspect of this, I suppose, is that Suppose Australia was to um, cease emitting global greenhouse gas, so we go all nuclear or something like that, 100% um, nuclear. Would global emissions continue to rise, assuming all the other signatories to the Paris Accords uh, uh, did what they said they were going to do? I suppose that's a, fair, a fairly risky assumption, but if they did, and, uh, and the other countries that aren't, uh, uh, signatories to the Paris Accord continue to do what they're doing now, what would be the net effect on global emissions? 
So if whoever's listening in the background there can come up with an answer for that one too, that would be handy. Well, perhaps if I can try to just... I mean, even if you look at the current Paris Agreement, all, all of the commitments put together, uh, the overall picture is that there's still an expectation that there'll be an, an overall increase in emissions for some time. Mm -hmm. um, the structure of the agreement is such that it says there is an expectation that countries will ratchet up their ambition, their effort, um, as time goes by. But th the existing commitments um, certainly would still see a continued increase in greenhouse gas emissions, but less than the increase we would have seen had there not been those commitments made. Right. All right. Well, I'd, I'd be grateful for those figures. Um, whether you get them this time or take them on notice, uh, that would be handy. Um, um, if you get them while this session is still going, then I will have some follow-up questions, but otherwise um, I might come to back to next estimates. Okay. Just a quick summary of questions on notice. So a quick Wikipedia has generated some uh, figures on um, on the emissions of other countries, uh, latest, hmm. the most recent figures I've been able to find are 2015. And so now have uh, China, India, Russia, China's 24 times Australia's emissions, India's 5.5 times Australia's emissions, Russia is four times, and others uh, l lower ratios to Australia from that. So the question on notice would be um, what, what has the history of those countries been in terms of their emissions? Uh, and I'm hoping you have something not too far different from table six in the document that's just been circulated. As close as you can get to that. I appreciate some of them don't have data. And, and also, uh, on notice, please, what are their projections? Over, say, 20 to 2030, which is when Australia has given commitments, I think. If you could possibly do that for me to allow comparisons, that would be appreciated. Happy to do that, Senator. Thank you very much.